business continuity, and disaster recovery concepts. Business continuity is the ability of an organization to maintain essential functions during, as well as after, a disaster has occurred. Disaster recovery is a piece of business continuity planning. Disaster recovery is specifically to the information technology, IT, and data-centric functions of the business. Some basic concepts in business continuity and disaster recovery planning are Disruptions Disasters Disaster recovery and the disaster recovery plan, DRP Continuity planning and the business continuity plan, BCP Business impact analysis, BIA Contingency plan Availability Reliability a disruption is any unplanned event that results in the temporary interruption of any organizational asset, including processes, functions, and devices. Disruptions are grouped into three main categories, non-disaster, disaster, and catastrophe. Non-disasters are temporary interruptions that occur due to malfunction or failure. Non-disasters might or might not require public notification and are much easier to recover from than disasters or catastrophes. A catastrophe is a disaster that has a much wider and much longer impact. A disaster is considered a catastrophe if facilities are destroyed. A disaster is a suddenly occurring event that has a long-term negative impact on life. A disaster is an emergency that goes beyond the normal response of resources. Disasters require more effort for recovery than no disasters but less than catastrophes. A disaster usually affects a wide geographical area and results in severe damage, injury, loss of life, and loss of property. Any disaster has negative financial and reputational effects on the organization. The causes of disasters are categorized into three main areas according to origin. Technological disasters, human-caused disasters, and natural disasters. Technological disasters occur when a device fails. This failure can be the result of device defects, incorrect implementation, incorrect monitoring, or human error. Technological disasters are not usually intentional. If a technological disaster is not recovered from in a timely manner, an organization might suffer a financial collapse. If a disaster occurs because of a deliberate attack against an organization's infrastructure, the disaster is considered a human-caused disaster even if the attack is against a specific device or technology. In the past, all technological disasters were actually considered human-caused disasters because technological disasters are usually due to human error or negligence. Human-caused disasters occur through human intent or error. Human-caused disasters include enemy attacks, bombings, sabotage, arson, terrorism, strikes, or other job actions, infrastructure failures, personnel unavailability due to emergency, evacuation, and mass hysteria. Human-caused disasters are intentional. Natural disasters occur because of a natural hazard. Natural disasters include flood, tsunami, earthquake, hurricane, tornado, and other such natural events. A fire that is not the result of arson is also considered a natural disaster. The primary concern during any disaster is personnel safety. Disaster recovery minimizes the effect of a disaster and includes the steps necessary to resume normal operation. Disaster recovery must take into consideration all organizational resources, functions, and personnel. Efficient disaster recovery will sustain an organization during and after a disruption due to a disaster. Each organizational function or system will have its own disaster recovery plan, DRP. Disaster Recovery Plan DRP for each function or system is created as a direct result of that function or system being identified as part of the Business Continuity Plan, BCP. The Disaster Recovery Plan DRP is 
implemented when the emergency occurs and includes the steps to restore functions and systems. The goal of disaster recovery is to minimize or prevent property damage and prevent loss of life. Continuity planning deals with identifying the impact of any disaster and ensuring that a viable recovery plan for each function and system is implemented. Its primary focus is how to carry out the organizational functions when a disruption occurs. Business Continuity Plan BCP considers all aspects that are affected by a disaster, including functions, systems, personnel, and facilities. Business Continuity Plan BCP lists and prioritizes the services that are needed, particularly the telecommunications and IT functions. A Business Impact Analysis BIA, is a functional analysis that occurs as part of business continuity and disaster recovery. Performing a thorough business impact analysis BIA will help business units understand the impact of a disaster. The resulting document that is produced from a business impact analysis BIA lists the critical and necessary business functions, their resource dependencies, and their level of criticality to the overall organization. A contingency plan is sometimes referred to as Plan B, because it can be also used as an alternative for action if expected results fail to materialize. Contingency planning is a component of business continuity, disaster recovery, and risk management. Availability is a main component of business continuity planning. The organization must determine the acceptable level of availability for each function or system. If the availability of a resource falls below this defined level, then specific actions must be followed to ensure that availability is restored. With regard to availability, most of the unplanned downtime of functions and systems is attributed to hardware failure. Availability places focus on technology. Reliability is the ability of a function or system to consistently perform according to specifications. It is vital in business continuity to ensure that the organization's processes can continue to operate. Reliability focus on processes.